really good. Big small mouth, y'all. This is on that Berkeley power bait switch. Big small mouth, guys. Unbelievable combination of active target and the switch together working in unison. Guys, this is the deal. We had to come up and just get in a shallower zone and these fish are actually sitting on the side of this rock pile. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that is the deal right there. I am so stoked out of my mind. It's the most amazing thing when you're one of the first humans in the world to use a bait. Uh, and this was just developed by Berkeley. It's called a switch. Uh, if you're using this new technology, listen, active target, whether you like it or not, forward facing sonar, you have to learn it. There's no better bait than that switch right there. And look at that beautiful brown fish. Yeah! <laughs> Hey Tackle Warehouse fans, Mike Aguinelli here. Listen to me, I have a brand new bait from Berkeley. It's called the Switch. And if you're a fan of forward facing sonar, active target, this is the bait for you. A lot of cool things about this bait. It's called the Switch, so you could switch up while you're fishing. Four different ways to fish it, four different actions, cater to the fish that you see. Add to that a big giant head inside of this bait makes it a big mark on active target. Horizontal presentation, giant hook, natural finishes, lots of sizes. This is your new bait for forward facing sonar. Keep that better. Big rainbow. Jeez, Louise. He come off. I threw the rod down. I picked the rod back up. He went pow. That's a big rainbow. Look at that thing. Big old silver. How long we have? <laughs> All day. This will be an hour fight right here. What is that thing? I think it's a rainbow. I don't know, he's got a hooked mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a hooked mouth. I don't know, would I call that a rainbow or a salmon or a brown trout? I don't think it's a brown trout. It's a salmon. It might be a salmon. Does he have a fork it tail? His, for his tail's not fork it though. That is a beautiful fish. Guys, we're out here bass fishing. It's freezing cold, like it's we're in the Arctic front over here. But listen, we're out here using the brand new Berkeley Powerbait Switch. This is a really versatile bait. It's great fishing on active target. That's what we're doing. We're watching them, we're dropping on them. We're utilizing this bait a lot of different ways, but we're after bass. So I'm gonna get this bait out. We'll let this beauty go and we'll try to catch some bass. All right, took a little break. I wanna tell you a little bit more about this brand new Berkeley Powerbait Switch and how it's designed. Pretty awesome bait, you know, really great for deep water. Great if you're using that forward facing sonar, but this thing's got a lot of features. If you look at the way they built this bait, you're gonna see an encapsulated weight inside the lure. So there's no need to add additional weight. It's got that lead head that's directly inside the bait, but take a look at it. They've really broadened it out. They've elongated it inside the body. And that's one of the reasons this thing really, really shows up on forward facing sonar, right? You know, all that, that mass of that head gives you a big return. You know, the next thing you're gonna see is the line tie. The line tie on a lot of baits is up toward the nose. But when you look at the Berkeley Powerbait switch, they brought the line tie back. It's way back even behind the eyes. And what that does is it keeps that bait horizontal. And when we're using that moping technique where we're barely moving the bait, it has to be like that. It can't be down, it can't be up, right? Those, those line ties in the nose tend to make it rise or fall. So it keeps it horizontal. All right, the next thing I wanna show you on the switch is the hook. And if you look at the length of the hook and where that hook comes out, it's really key to this bait. So it's an elongated hook design 
that puts the hook almost toward the tail of the bait. If you already use forward facing sonar or active target, you know about those nipping fish, those fish that come up and nip it. So we've really put that hook in the back. You're gonna get a way better hookup percentage. Last but not least, a lot of these baits have that mylar strip in them. And it's another way that that bait's gonna show up really good on that forward facing sonar, right? Gives you a great return because of more mass in the body. This switch, uh, the great thing about it, look, it's available from these real little tiny ones. Look at that thing. Great for multi-species when bass are feeding on real little bait, all the way up to a big giant one, right? Almost like a one ounce one, super deep water when they're feeding on larger bait. So a uh, lot of great colors, some painted finishes to really dial in the, the mimic of the forage. With all those designs, this is the perfect bait for active target. This is the perfect bait for forward facing sonar and you can use it four or five or six different ways. So there's a little bit on the switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to fishing because they're still biting and the bugs are attacking me. Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> what, just what just happened here? Big small mouth. Oh, big small mouth. I saw that one, guys. I saw that one on the active target. I saw that one on the active target and I used one of those techniques that we were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I saw that one on the active target. Listen to me. This technique uh, with this amazing new bait by Berkeley called the switch, this isn't a technique that is singularly focused. This is a technique that's broad. And here's what I want to tell you. Winter, summer, spring, fall, it works all across the board. The main thing is utilizing this in conjunction with your forward facing sonar. For sure, it's a better deep tool, but because this thing is built to show up on your forward facing, on your active target, you can cater every cast to each fish. This is the second smallmouth I've caught in this area and it was on two different techniques. The great thing about the switch, you can switch your techniques with that bait as you're fishing. Another nice smallmouth. You know, the thing about that switch is, look, I can fish it three or four different ways on one cast. What other bait can you do that with, right? You know, think about it. A jig and spoon, you got a jig. A crankbait, you got a crank. This thing I can fish, you know, I can mope it, which is keeping it still and horizontal and you're basically just maybe making small rod lifts. I can jig it, right? Which is how I call it that last one. I can stroke it, I can give it big pops. And when I do that, the bait actually spirals on the fall. And then the last one, I can just reel it and it's actually got a tail that has a, a left to right movement. So that's what I'm trying to do. Every fish is different. You get out here and you think you could do the same thing for every fish, but they're almost like bedding fish. They almost all have their own, you know, personality. There's another one. And that's what I'm looking for. See the white dots? So once I see those white dots, I make that cast. You can see them swimming. It's a really nice bass swimming right there. Suspend it. And I'll, and I'll cast to that fish and then I'll try to use that bait to turn that fish on. Okay, there's my bait going down. I'm a little behind it. And see the bait spiraling? Look how the bait spirals. You could actually see it on the forward facing. So I'm getting down to that fish. So this one's pretty low. Oh, here he come. Here he comes. I'm gonna jig it and see if he wants that. Try popping it. Don't want that. So I'm, I'm reading each fish, right? To see what that fish wants. Got one. Let 
Call me a large mouth. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. He's got a little, he's got something on his back there, but that was a good example of the versatility of this bait. I'm not kidding you guys. I'm in a hundred, one, 136 feet of water. And I throw it by this wall, basically a tower wall. And I just let it fall. We talked about one of the ways this bait is critical and you got to see it in the water is when it falls, it spirals. You wouldn't think about a largemouth bass being in 136 feet of water, but he saw that thing falling down. He was suspended. He had to have it. It was just like a natural bait fish falling. So second bass of the day, brutal conditions, terrible conditions using the graph, fish in deep water, that's where that brand new switch is the deal. You know, we'll talk to you a little bit about the gear that I'm using to fish these switch baits. Um, I really prefer spinning and I wanna tell you why. Not necessarily for the weight of the switch, and some of these switches are lighter, but more for the control of being able to get down on them, to drop on them, right? With a bait caster, I've got to mash the button and that line has to come off a revolving spool this way. But if I see one on my active target and I drop on them, look at the way that line comes off the spinning reel, right? I'm able to, to put it right on them. So I prefer spinning. Without a doubt, I like a medium action rod because I want a little tip, right? I, I want that fish to get the bait and I want that rod to just load. So seven foot to seven and a half foot medium action spinning rods. Man, I've been using these brand new. This is the Veritas PLX. It's the TE Tournament Edition. I love it. This is a seven foot medium. Today we're using a few different spinning reels. The main thing is bigger size spinning reels, 30s and 40s. Uh, this is the Revo SX. It was great for me today with these smaller switches. When I was using that bigger switch out a little deeper, I switched to the Revo Rocket. And it's a great reel too, because I can pick up a lot of line really quick. I could also reel it in quick to make my next drop. So main thing, spinning reels, a little bit bigger, medium to fast retrieve. That's the perfect spinning reel for the switch. Um, let me talk to you about line because this combination line is a must. This is a must. And you're gonna see braid and you're gonna see fluorocarbon. That's what you have to use because listen, when those fish hit it 40, 50, 60, feet deep you have to get into them and get rid of that stretch right so that's where your braids coming in i like uh 10 pound berkeley x5 that's the white braid and then i tie that to a six to ten pound berkeley trialene 100 fluorocarbon leader we're using eight today so um seven to seven and a half foot medium action rod a little bit bigger spinning reel braid to a floor leader and that's the perfect combination to fish that switch Big one, big one, got him. Oh my God, it's a giant smallmouth. Jesus, this is, this is, oh my God. This is the deal. Oh my gosh, this is the switch, guys. This is the power of the switch right here. This is the power of the switch. This is the power of the switch. Wintertime fishing, nasty fishing. Guys, when you can't catch them any other way, especially when they're deep, please try this thing right here. This is the switch. Forward facing sonar is changing the game. And so is that bait right there. I hope you enjoyed this product video on that brand new switch. It's definitely gonna change the game when you're fishing deep, looking at that active target, forward facing sonar. It's really critical. Lots of different ways to fish it, lots of different actions. Catch us fish like that. And the switch, it's lights out.